What's happening, chess fans? Welcome to Net Chess and Chill. Today is episode number 105 of my Rapid Rating Climb series, and we are on a journey to 1000 ELO. So, if you guys enjoy my content, please like and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get into today's game. Alright, get some tunes on for you guys. And... Jumping into the 10 minute pool. So we are rated 880. Um, we've been doing pretty, pretty good recently. Hopefully we can get a win today. All right, we're playing with the black pieces. Enrico. We will play a Karo Khan. Alright, so these are positions that I'm not as good with, but we're going to try. So he should be taking my knight, and I will be recapturing with my e-pawn. Um, that's kind of like an atypical move. This pawn is hanging, so... He does win tempo on my queen. Um, I could probably just come all the way back. Um, I'm wondering if this pin does anything. Doesn't really look like it. Um, could also give this check. Um, I don't think that's super helpful either. Um, so can't go there. Can't go here. Can't go here. Can't go here. Can't. Can't. You know, anything like this. Can't go. <clears throat> Could go here, could go here. I'm just going to come back. And uh, he can take now, which would be fine. Like I said, we'll recapture with this pawn. Um, so, we're not afraid of this at all. Um, I have a feeling he's going to bring his queen there. Um, which I don't know if bringing my bishop here to block is the best move or putting my queen there is the best move <clears throat> yeah I kind of had a feeling um, so I could just block and castle which is what I might do. I guess this bishop here is probably a little better. I am up a pawn. I guess I could trade queens. But I do have kind of a worse structure overall. Um, so I'm wondering if blocking is not the best move just because getting the queens off the board would help me in the long run. Um, but I'm also wondering if I block and I castle, could I catch him slipping with his pieces on this file? <clears throat> but he looks like he's ready to castle, so I'm going to actually play the queen move. And just say we're up a pawn, and I think I can win the end game. Um, this is not traditional in this, like, I, I don't think this is the best move. We'll have to look at it when I go for the analysis afterwards. Um, I definitely don't think it's the best move. Um,
so bishop typically goes here but we also typically have the queen on the board we don't really trade in this structure very often um we usually try and attack the king um because most end games are lost because of these double pawns <clears throat> So, what does he want with that move? To get here. To... Um... So, Rook on the open file is an alright move, but I would like to get my Rooks connected. So maybe getting the bishop out is a decent idea first. Um, these two squares I can't really go to. I was thinking about moving them here, but I don't know if that's necessarily a great move. Um, So, I could threaten this rook, but I don't think that necessarily does anything. Um, I'm going to play this knight move so my rooks are connected, and then bring my rook to the game. I can back this bishop up if I need to, or I can just kind of replant it somewhere else on a different square. <clears throat> So, I'm not, I mean, if he takes, I undouble my pawns. I could also get my rook on the file. Um... I think this is a threat now because he doesn't have anything protecting his rook. So, um, well, also my knight is hanging, so maybe um, moving the knight first. Um, the knight likes to come here sometimes. That just seems like a hanging piece. Um, so I think we will do this, and um, that's hanging, and I can take that, and then he's got this problem. This looks like a weird move, but I'm pretty sure it's kind of like our main, our main squeeze in these positions. So we're threatening the rook now as well. We're up two pawns, so I'm okay with trading pieces for sure now. Um, we can get the knight kind of activated. Um, a lot of times this is kind of what you want to do to get him out into the game. Um, I have a move like this potentially in the future. Uh...
do I want to infiltrate? Can I ask him where that bishop's going? I mean, it's defended. I could have just given this check, which is back rank mate. What am I doing? <laughs> I definitely just missed that. That's literally, I'm like, that's checkmate. What the heck am I doing? Stupid. Missed mate in one, literally. Um, but his bishop's under attack. So, we should be able to pull this one off. Yeah, that was super dumb. I can't believe that I just missed that. I mean, that is literally checkmate. What the world, dude? wonder how long that's been sitting there. So, takes. He moves this. Okay, so one move. But still, what the heck? What the heck? Um, he has no way to defend the bishop. He's going to need to move it. So, um... I think he's going to need to hang the bishop to avoid checkmate, right? Um, so, I think my opponent sees it now. He can make a luft for the king is probably not a bad move either. Um, so my opponent finds that move. I don't know if that's a good move or not. We're up material for sure. So again, this is checkmate. Um, he should just move this bishop. So he's defending it, which is cool. Um, I think we will go for trades. We will try and get rid of the defender. I don't know why he's not just moving this bishop, but that's fine. He can take that pawn. We'll take this pawn. So he's threatening my king because um, if I if I come up here to take this, I can potentially get back ranked, but I can just also bring my uh, bishop back, which I think I might just do. And then I can kick out this knight. say he's going to get back ranked um i think we'll kick out the knight y 
yeah. could do this to win this pawn um, once we kick out this knight I can start getting my king into the mix so I think that will behoove me um, my opponent can go here or here um, he chooses that move which is fine um, Um, so we have, we have time. We need to not blunder. <clears throat> I think pushing these pawns is a decent move. I also think that moving my king forward is a good move. Um, I think we'll push pawn first and then I can start to move my king I'm up quite a bit of material so um, I think defending the bishop and I mean I can start pushing these pawns so um, also, now I'm a little more okay with um, I guess uh, moving my king forward. Sorry, that seemed really hard for me to say. start to bring the king so he's attacking this um, I can give this check and defend this way takes I can take so it's kind of obnoxious what my opponent's doing right now to me but I can now move my bishop. Um, so he's basically saying that um, he can take my bishop and I can't take back, which he is not wrong. But I can come all the way down here. Or I could just move my bishop. Um, we 
rooks defended. See him going for this check. If he does, I'm just going to move my bishop forward. I think that's the move. No, it's not. Moving my king is the move. actually need to be careful because my bishop is kind of stuck right now so I think my pieces are getting a little annoyed with each other so I'm gonna start pushing these pawns so that my opponent has to react a little more to that Um, so I'm going to keep pushing the pawns. He's going to push this pawn. If he does that, I could come here or here. I think he can stop the pawns. <clears throat> He's just trying to check. Um, but we're going to be queening on the next move. Just bring my king this way.
dude. Excuse my French, guys. God, I'm mad about this. Come on, man. Uh When the rook, um, I think that's just easiest. Uh. Uh. Might need to bleep out that part where I called him a name. You're not actually what I called you, dude. You're fine. I was just annoyed at my play because I did not play that very well. Um, let's let's check out the analysis. I missed a lot in that game. So, we'll see how I did. 76.2% accuracy. I had five misses. So, like I said, I knew I missed quite a few things. Um, and three inaccuracies. So, let's see how we went wrong. Um, so, here, I love this. Tartakower. Um, he didn't take. So, I took the pawn. He threatens my queen. I back up. What's the best move? Just one square back up. Okay. I don't think I would have seen that. Um, what's the best move here? Blocking. All right. So this is what I thought because I'm pretty sure I can get my bishop out here in castle and I might be able to catch him on the file, but he looks like he really is ready to castle. So it's all right. Um, he literally castled next move. So... Me taking the queen was a good idea. I'm up a pawn here. And I'm proud of myself because I maintained my advantage for most of the game. This wasn't that great of a move. Um, all right. I guess I see it. I don't really know. Um, you know, putting pressure here. And I can kind of just keep my bishop over here aimed at the king. But I was really worried about my rooks not being connected. So, I mean, his are not either, but I was worried about it. Um, developed the knight. He came over here and kind of like threatening my bishop. Like, I'm not going to take and him develop his knight and me have to move this bishop. I didn't want any of that. Um, and he's not going to take because he wants me to move my bishop, like to forget, because then this is hanging. So it's not a real good tactic. This wasn't the best move. Um, bringing this rook over here to defend the knight is a good move. Um, but I I like what I did. Um, this is what I typically do in the Tartakower anyways. And then this rook can come to this file. Or we can exchange rooks or whatever need be. Um, I typically leave this one here because they usually exchange a set of rooks with me. Um, so that's straight up a blunder. Because I can... Uh, it loses a bishop. I can take this. It loses a bishop. Let's see the move. So I take. He does that. So that's a lot of moves. Um, I don't really think that I was going to see that. So... Um, Anyways, this is what we have. Um, I missed the opportunity to just take. 
and he can recap he can't recapture because of this so if he takes I recapture he's gonna recapture actually he can't do it then he's gonna have to move the bishop I don't understand why he or the computer brought the bishop to here necessarily but okay there's some tactics there basically so I took the pawn yeah this is just confusing to me um, I'm missing a big tactic here so I straight up miss checkmate this is like what bothered me the most right here was I literally saw that, that he could not, like I saw that his rooks weren't connected and I still was like, oh, free bishop. Man, keep your eyes open. This guy's rated 930. I'm not even 900 yet. I'm rated 889, which is my highest rating I've had. But like at 930, still just blundering checkmate in one. Um, and the bishop right like I mean the bishop's hanging I mean I'm not I'm I don't have a way to uh, immediately take it but like what was this move supposed to do I don't really know what his thought was so that was a big miss by me he kind of thought about this move a while and takes the pawn I'm completely winning now um I'm down to trade pieces that probably wasn't the best for me but I just I, he, he won a pawn out of it so it wasn't really that great I got this pawn back um but He's kind of quickly getting another pawn. I thought about this. I was like, oh, I'm about to get back ranked myself because of his stupid knight here, which is actually annoying. Um, so taking the pawn was fine because I can just bring my bishop back, which, I mean, I, I, I it's like forced. I had to do that move. So, um, yeah, from here, I mean, things are all right. I'm defending the pawn. He double attacks the pawn. I give a check. Then I slide the rook over to defend the pawn again. Um, he moves his knight. His knight is super obnoxious to me. Um, so this is something that I saw. Um, permits opponent to force an eventual checkmate. I don't see the mate in two. Let's see. Oh, duh. Dude, keep your eyes open. Like, so I'm, I'm missing stuff because I'm so worried about this knight and like this going on right here. Like if he takes, I can't recapture because he'll take my rook. Right. So like, that was what I was worried about. And because of that, I didn't see mate in two. So yeah, rook moves here. Check. King has to go to like here. Right. And, uh, And then what do I do to finish it out? Oh, this. No, he gets away on this square from there. Oh, yeah, so this first, okay. Literally the bishop checkmate is what it is. I was about to say, I thought it was the rook defended by my light squared bishop, but now that I look at it, the king goes here, and then he can get away this way after this check, um, it, you know, if I did the bishop last. So, doing the bishop first, giving this check, always look for checks, captures, attacks. All he can do is block, and then it's literally checkmate, um, because he can't go here. He can't interpose with anything. Actually, he can interpose with this, but uh, he can't move his king there immediately from the check. So. All right, so anyways, we get this position. Big mistakes by me here. Um, I did not convert this in a smooth manner at all. Um, I still can't take the stupid knight. Um, now I'm like, all right, give me the knight. Um, he's won enough pawns. He didn't care about this. Now, this is where I got mad at myself because I'm not like, all right. So, like, this is just a smarter way to do it. If he takes this, it doesn't matter because I'm going to promote um, regardless and force the trade. It's just a smarter way to do it. Instead, I did this. 
um, literally just promoting to a queen here is fine because if he takes I can recapture um, and if he pushes this is what I was worried about was anything other you know I'm I mean if he pushes I just back up right but um, you know I I should have just taken the rook so takes takes I get the queen he gives me the check I back up he can't give me so what I was thinking was this like his rook backs up and gives me the check but um obviously my queen defends so I called him a mean name during the game so maybe I'll bleep it out but I did call him it out of frustration with myself because I just for some reason I felt like I was missing something um obviously the fact that my queen is guarding that right now but I just I I just I felt like he's getting too much play and I'm not doing it right and I was also pretty annoyed at the fact that I missed checkmate in one and checkmate in two I didn't really realize that one but checkmate in one I saw that one I was pretty upset with myself um so here we just kind of trade things I don't know why he didn't just take my queen but he wanted to keep all his chances alive um So this is, it says I missed a quick checkmate. It's mate in 14. So I don't know how quick that is, but I'm just gonna win with the queen and march my king and pawn. You know, we're, we'll march this pawn up, come another queen. Played like an 1100, he played like an 1000. We both had a great opening and then the middle game was eh and my end game was thumbs up. So played pretty well. And I'm the closest I've ever been to 900 rating. So I'm really excited. Probably like two more games before I get over over it. Assuming that I win both of them. But Well, I hope you guys enjoyed everything. If you made it this far in the video, let me know if you like my new little logo that I made. Um, I mean, it didn't take me very long, but I like it. So let me, let me know what you guys think. And um, yeah, well, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.